Hello everyone, how are y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Today I'm at Islands of Adventure because the last time I was here, I was here without my camera, which I do from time to time, but I was walking through the Jurassic Park area, and let me tell you, it is looking so good that I wanted to show it to you guys today. And also, the Mardi Gras Tribute Store, it's open. We'll check that out as well. But before we get going, and I hate I have to do this, a little disclaimer. Now, remember, anytime you see me without a face covering on, I'm either in a U-rest zone that is pretty spread out where people can be in here and not be six feet close to each other, or I'm eating or drinking while stationary, which for me means I've grabbed a courtesy cup of water. I hate that I have to do this reminder, but you know, that's the times we live in. I know there's at least one update in Marvel Island I haven't shared with you guys yet, We'll do so in just a hot second here. I've mentioned this in a live stream a couple weeks ago. I don't think I've done it on video yet, but there are construction walls up here at the entrance to Spider-Man. They're doing some work here at the entrance or the start of the queue. So you can't enter Spider-Man this way. You gotta walk around the corner. And when I say around the corner, I do mean around the corner. Because of that construction, they're using this side entrance for Spider-Man, which today, the wait time is only 15 minutes. I do feel bad for some of you guys who watch my videos and you see the short wait times when I'm here, then you visit on the weekends. And the wait times aren't so short on the weekends. You gotta remember, I'm here during the weekdays a lot. And during the weekdays, short wait times. So check it out. We have Peter Parker and Steve Rogers out doing meet and greets. Oops, that's their secret identities. I shouldn't have said that. I mean, Spider-Man and Captain America are out doing meet and greets. Betty Boop is also out doing a meet and greet on this cold morning. Now, it should warm in the afternoon. I may have to ditch my hoodie later, but right now, it's a little chilly. That's why Betty's wearing her cold weather gear. Now, currently, Popeyes and Bluto's barges is closed for seasonal maintenance. I can't remember the dates on the top of my head, but it was in a recent video that I did, so I'll have an info card pop up now, and I'll put a link to that video that will tell you all the closure dates for February. But if you want a water ride, there is still one open here in Toon Lagoon that would be Ripsaw Falls, which will be closing after they reopen Popeyes. Again, not sure of the date, so check the description box for the link to the closing video. Just as I pulled out my camera, they raised the wait time to Kong to 15 minutes. It was at 10 minutes as I was walking up. Heading into the Jurassic Park area, there's a few construction walls up here, but most of the construction walls have been removed. I'll show you that once we get deeper into the land. Even though we have a few construction walls up, the splash zone for the Jurassic Park River Adventure is open. You can stand here and watch people scream, splash, laugh. That one almost got me. It is such a pretty day, I have to get one more shot of Scream Splash Laugh. And for the record, today's a little too cold for me to participate in the splash zone. It's under 50 right now, so that's my limit. It can't be under 50. So let's take a walk through the Jurassic Park area this is what I came here to show you. The area is pretty much back to normal. They have taken down the outside construction walls, the real construction walls. Those have pretty much all been removed from this area. A lot of trees and greenery has been put in its place. So it feels like that tropical island again. So pretty much the only construction walls we can see as we walk through the area are on the inside of the attraction, keeping us from looking inside of the, uh, through these metal bars here. But even with those boards covering the bars, the view through the bars, we can kind of see one of the waterfalls and it is flowing right now. So they even have some of the water features on in this ride already. So pretty much, I would say 99% of this area of Jurassic Park that you walk through is back to normal. 
only about 15 to 20 feet of the construction wall still exists, but this is the area where the workers walk through to actually get into the construction site. Now in the future, when this attraction is open, we're gonna have to walk down this path here to get into the queue. And it's very near the smoking section here on the right. I'm kind of hoping now that this is going to be an entrance for the Jurassic World Velocicoaster that they kind of move that smoking section. I don't want to have to walk by the smoking section in order to get into this ride. So hopefully they move that. Time will tell. And we know this is going to be the entrance into the attraction area because we have these two columns here with these two happy and excited raptors waiting to greet us. And these two raptors are actually still wrapped up. The raptors by the actual signage, the marquee, they have been unwrapped. Apparently, we are not gonna see any Velocicoaster testing today. I was talking to some of the team members that work in there. Apparently, there are some problems with some bolts. So they gotta replace some bolts, which is fine by me. Please, by all means, let's have good bolts on this coaster. However, if you want to see some action shots of the coaster with people on it, I was here the day they were shooting a commercial for it, so click right up here, an info card will have a link to that video, as well as the description box. And I think that's all the updates I have for this park. Let's go over to Studios and check out the Mardi Gras Tribute Store. But wait a second, I have one more update. As we look behind the three broomsticks to its patio area, we can see in order to block some of the view of the new coaster, they are adding some, uh, some type of foliage or barrier there. So uh, for those of you who were concerned, maybe out of sight, I'm not sure you're gonna be out of sound because I think you're gonna still hear people screaming as they go by the three broomsticks. Well, I thought I was gonna take the Hogwarts Express over to studios but it's warming up. I think I want to ditch my hoodie, so I'll just walk it to my car. A few extra steps, but you know, I could use the exercise. Okay, now that I have that little extra task of putting away my hoodie done, got in a few extra steps for today as well, we can make our way over to the Mardi Gras Tribute Store, which is opening for the first time today. But along the way, there's something I need to share with you guys. Nikki and I, we are going to put out a special limited edition series of videos and those videos will first be available early access to our patrons on Patreon and to our channel members via the join button on YouTube. Now don't worry, eventually these series of videos will make its way to the regular channel. But as a thank you, we wanted to give those patrons and channel members first crack at it. I think it's going to be a fun set of videos. We're excited to do them. I hope you're excited to see them. Well, check this out. Maxi the Taxi's here. No Labby the Cabby, but at least we have Maxi the Taxi back. Thanks for hanging out with me this long. Before we get to the tribute store, I have a surprise for you right around the corner here. It's Nikki. She's off of work and she's going to meet us to go through the tribute store. Hey, hon. Hi, guys. How are you doing? I like these little tables. I know. That they have set up for us to eat at while we get our Mardi Gras food on. Light up. Oh, we'll see about these. Well, there's different types all across the um, the park. I see some a bunch of them over there, just like regular tables with some benches. But uh, yeah, this, this does have the potential to light up. We'll see when we do our live stream, weather permitting. Now, I am surprised with the amount of tables here. I thought they were going to put a Mardi Gras float or two in this area. Yeah, there's no space now. I don't think so. Well, maybe one right back there, but it, it's going to be tight. Those yeah. are big. I mean, today's the day before Mardi Gras starts and there's no floats out yet. No. So it will be a surprise to us. Yeah. Where they place them all. Super exciting. So they've added this. This is new since the last time I was here. Yes. It's the New Orleans, what is this, a food <laughs> shipping a, cart? Exactly, yeah. Our buddy Cole. Hi guys, how are you? Good to see you, Cole. What yeah. we got here? We got some jambalaya. Oh, maybe. Etouffee? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> the menu's... Can I talk about this? It's no longer a secret, Cole. Yeah. <laughs> I got the news flash. <laughs> we have a little jambalaya and we have an etouffee. It's going to be delicious. Oh, I can't okay. wait for tomorrow. tomorrow. Uh, where's the floats going to go? Um, They're going to scatter them all throughout the whole okay. park. Okay. So oh, good, good. I've seen a few different testing spots. They, they've really spread them out. Yeah. It's going to be really, really interesting this year. I'm excited to see them. Yeah. Awesome. Are you guys a part of the preview for the tribute? Yes, season? we are. Yes. Ooh. We got 12 o'clock. Cannot wait. I've been in there all morning. Oh, yeah, that's right. Team members already in there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We've been setting it up for, for a few now. 
just want to make everyone's day. Awesome. Yeah. Good to see you, Cole. Yeah, you too, guys. If you need anything, come find me. I'll be here all day. Even though Mardi Gras doesn't start today, starts tomorrow, Nikki came prepared. She fished out last year's tasting lanyard, and we had our buddy Cole scan it to see how many items were left. We still have nine on it. However, he said, if you have any troubles with your tasting lanyard from last year, to go to guest services and they can fix it up for you. Now, I still have an hour before I'm allowed into the Tribute Store preview, but I just want to let you know, you don't have to get your Mardi Gras merchandise from the Tribute Store. It is spread out throughout the park. I'll show you some right here. This is the little shop they have uh, right by the plaza. And you can see here they have the Mardi Gras lanyards for sale. Some of the hoodies and t-shirts. Party like a pirate. $25 for the t-shirt and the hoodie is like, oop, upside down. Let's see what that is. $57.98 it looked like. So around $58 for that hoodie. Oh, we got a little headband for Nikki. Yeah, and it lights up. How much is it? I don't know. Oh. Question. Free. <laughs> I gotta come prepared, girl, when you ask to be on camera. Uh, I don't know. Let me All right. We'll get, we'll get back to that. Uh, $12. $12, Nikki yeah. says. Here's the um, the purple Mardi Gras shirt. No two shirts are exactly alike. Garments may vary. Price is $27. Nikki mentioned this the other night. She saw this and uh, she really likes this green tank top for $30. Let the good times roll. So they have a whole wall of Mardi Gras stuff here. I really like the retro look of this one. You got the retro logo with the Mardi Gras. It's $25. So a nice change this year. You know, sometimes change can be good, guys. Here's the tables over here by uh, New York. They've added a lot more tables this year. And the tables are highly themed to the, I guess, to country. the country. To the country. Yeah, so it's great. I mean, the creativity is awesome. I yeah. love it. And now this is nice because in years past, yes. it was kind of hard to find a spot to eat your like Mardi Gras food. Yeah, you'd be sitting on a stoop yeah. or uh, you know on a stair or whatever trying to eat. And right. now they actually have it where it's so much more convenient. And I think I that's because it. of they wanted to focus more on social distancing. Yeah. So that's why they've added all this, which is a good ad, by the way, a very good ad. Yeah, we highly approve of this one, definitely. So Nikki's over there holding my spot in line. I thought I would come over here and check out the closest food cart shipping container. And this one is from Trinidad Tobago. And oh boy, I'm gonna have a hard time this year pronouncing some of these international foods. Oh boy. And here we have the entryway, a coat check station. It's, it's all right. We'll make our way into the first area. And I think this is the dueling pianos. This room is for dueling pianos. There's one right there. Above the piano, all the beautiful masks. I wonder if I would be allowed to wear that instead of this one, my Hufflepuff. I don't think so. We have a stage set up here for a jazz band called the Tributes. How appropriate for the Tribute Store. So clever. So this first room is um, a hopping jazz parlor straight out of the 1920s with dueling pianos and bellowing brass. Oh yeah. A real quick check of the merchandise. Check out this sparkly hat. Too bad Nikki is not into sparkles. Here's the other piano. Touch to start. What is this? Oh, this is where you can uh, design your own custom cell phone case. So the cell phone cases are actually <laughs> logos for this year's Mardi Gras. Okay, let's head into the next room. What is it, Nikki? A flower-filled nautical cemetery where many a sea captain have been laid to rest. Oh, check out this wall here. This whole wall is just used for theming. Uh, it looks so good. There is an Easter egg on this wall here, this little cemetery. Look right here, see this squirrel? It's a little homage to Earl the Squirrel. So clever. It's a little grave. I do know of one other Easter egg, but it's in another room. We'll go find that too. 
so beautiful. The Universal Creative Team, they are just amazing, the work they do. And I bet they love that they have so many tribute stores to do throughout the year now. Let them release their creative juices. So one of the team members just told me that this might be an homage to Bill Davis, who is the president of um, Universal. I bet it is. Yeah, so um, pretty cool. And he does say, see you around the campus. So not sure if that says it, but the last word in that phrase is campus. A couple of pirate themed t-shirts, his treasure, $30 for that lady's t-shirt. And then her pirate is $25. If you want a little addition to your own face covering, these masks right here, they light up and they are $25. And it seems like they do this for every tribute store now. They have wax figurines that you can have made. For Mardi Gras, they are doing a wax skull for $6. For $25, you can get the King t-shirt. And also for $25, the Queen. How about that? For the first time, the ladies don't have to pay more. Here we have a wall of beads. Buy two, get one free. Regular price is $6 each. But like I said, buy two, get the third one free. Okay, as we make our way down the hall, or is this a back alley, I should say probably, what is the next area we're gonna go into? A waterfront warehouse where all manner of smuggled treasure and trinkets are stashed. So I think it's kind of the pirate area. Here's another one of the wax machines. The first one I showed you was a skull. This one, you can have a pirate ship made. Just every nook and cranny and corner they have theme to the max. And it's not just your sight that is stimulated. Also, listen to things. that Every room has its own soundtrack, its own special sounds. I can see some kids and grown-ups walking around with these, Nikki. Yep. Can't be a pirate without having your, what, cutlass sword, you know? You're right. How much are they, do you know? Check them out. Be careful with that. So there's a, the button right there. Oh. It's perfect. Oh no. All right. I'm sure they cost something. And some of this stuff that you think is just decoration, like this hat, no, it is actually for sale. I think all the hats are around $30 to $35. There's no price on this one, but I think that's the general price range. Twelve ninety-five. You know what this is, right? A gold doubloon? Chocolate. <laughs> the next room is a firefly lit swamp where the remains of the themed pirate Jean Lafayette's long lost ship, the Pride, lies. Mm. Basically, this is where we can get some snacks. <laughs> Again, I will do my best just to give you a kind of a panning shot, give you a general look and feel of the joint. And this particular joint, I think, is my favorite room. Hi, how are you? Hello. Have you seen our pirate talking to soul gummies? So inside of this gumbo shack, there is an homage. One of the creative team members, they really love Beetlejuice. They really love that Beetlejuice tribute store. So inside of this tribute store, they added a little homage to Beetlejuice. And it's the book of the recently deceased an homage to Beetlejuice. So first, let me give you a general breakdown of the treats you can get. You have a section right here in front of us. This is the sweet treasures. We'll take a closer look in a moment. And then we have shipwreck pirates skulls. Let's take a closer look at the pirate skulls. So what's, what's the story behind these? So um, they are a mixed sour berry flavored gummy. Mm -hmm. They are cursed. They're cursed? Yeah. I see that they're moving. Yeah, they tell a lot of tales of the dead. Oh. So when you buy one, we do uh, lift the curse. That breaks the curse. When yeah. you buy it, it breaks the yeah. curse. Awesome. So then they won't be speaking much of the tales. And then, lastly, kind of on the savory side, we have Bayou Bites. They even have a variety of hot sauces you can buy for $6.95. Now, I'm not going to get one of the pirate skulls, but we are going to get something from Sweet Treasures. I don't know if it's going to be the moon pie 
It could be the cake, ooh, the vanilla cake with cinnamon swirl. That may be the, that may be the item for me. A masquerade cookie. More cookies down here. All right, go classic. Get yourself a king cake. A vegan brownie skull. And then we have the banana Foster's cheesecake pops. I don't know what to get. I'm overwhelmed. So we're making our purchases now. When we get outside, we'll show you everything that we bought. One last scene before we exit the shop, the store, the tribute store. There it is. So they do have tables set up for after you buy the snacks and your treats in the tribute store. And then they also have the barrels here. And we're gonna set up on a barrel. So here's the spread we went with. We'll get more stuff later. But we have the Bananas Foster for $5.49. The Macaron Donut, $5.99. I'm gonna call this a pastry wrapped sausage and then a couple of hand pies, a crab hand pie for $6.99 and the spinach hand pie $6.99. Did I say what the sausage was? If I didn't, here's another reminder. It's $9 for the pastry wrap sausage. So here's something you really should know. The tasting lanyards and the sampling lanyards mm -hmm. do not work in the tribute store. Correct. You've gotta just pay for it. Yep. Now, they will allow like pass holder discounts. Mm -hmm. So just, just wanted to give you that heads up. Don't walk into the tribute store with your lanyard trying to get this. Okay, before, Nikki almost jumped into desserts. I did, I started, I was like, ah, and he's like, no! Can't do that, let's review the savory first. Okay, sounds good. You go first with your uh, hand pies. Oh, wait, here comes uh, Rip Ride Rocket, hold on. Whee! I missed it, I missed it, <laughs> oh well. It was, it was moving, you gotta be faster than that, buddy. It was moving too fast. It was. You had the hand pies, like the crab, and then what, the spinach, artichoke? Yes, okay, so of the two, I might be weird, but I really, really like the spinach artichoke. I mean, I could live on that for the rest of my life. If that's all I was allowed to eat, I could eat that for the rest of my life. You like that everywhere so we go, you I, like that spinach artichoke I stuff. I do, it's so good. Now, if um, you like crab meat, you might like the crab one. Yes. Um, but you don't eat a lot of crab. I don't eat a lot of crab, and it was blue um, blue crab, and yeah. the flavor was very nice. Mm -hmm. um, I I enjoyed it, but I really liked the you like the, the spinach, spinach artichoke, artichoke dip okay. so much more that it just blew the crab one away. Oh, me. Here, I'm gonna catch this this time. Hold me on. Me back. There we go. I got, got some it. of it. I got some of it. Awesome. But the best thing as far as the savory. Oh. The, I don't I don't remember the, the exact name. I'm calling it the uh, pastry wrapped sausage. Right. Amazing. I want another one. That was so good, so savory. I, you know, I love sausage. So. Yeah, and it, I mean it's expensive. I mean it's like ten dollars. No, no, no. It was it was uh, nine dollars. Nine dollars. So you know for like something this size. But, want, oh my God, it was so good. But like, it, I was shocked you even offered me a bite. Well, it was so good. I wanted to get your take on it, not oh. just because I love sausage so much. Yes, it's you know. it's kind of salty though. So if you know, well, you're, savory. Yeah. If you're waiting, yeah. If you're watching your salt intake, but it's really good. So so there's your savory review. Yes. Let's hit up desserts. Oh yeah. And now it's time for your sweet review. <laughs> Let's start, you had something very unique. Yes. A macaron donut. And it was incredible. I was like, the first thing out of my mouth after I took a bite was, wow. Like the consistency was awesome of the macaron. It yes, was, it was. It, it was like that crispy, nice outside, and then the soft chewiness inside. It was. It was perfect. It was so flavorful as a too. Macaron. Yeah, like the icing on in between the two, fantastic, and then the little pearls on top that were chocolate. Awesome. So good. And I had the bananas Foster cake pop. Right. I tried all the cake pops. Right. I. It was good too. I loved it. Yes. Well, and then, hold on. Oh, Whoop, uh, here goes the brown again. And rip right rocket. Go. Well, it's um, funny, after I took a bite of mine, I was like, okay, nothing's gonna beat it. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I was totally sold on mine, and then I took a bite of his, I was like, oh my God, this is good too. Well, here's what I did. I kept going back and forth, having a bite of yours, having a bite of mine, <laughs> yeah. trying to decide which, which one was better. better. It was so hard yes. to figure that out. I'm gonna go, though, I'm gonna say the macaron donut was a little better. It's so close. One's, it's one's so a 100, close. one's a 99. 99.9. .9. It was so good. Yeah. So, I can't wait to try some of the other desserts, the sweet treats they have in there. Uh -huh. This, what is it? The sweet treasures, <laughs> I should say. 
Um, and, oh, but I want to take one of the sausage things home. I know. It is so. If you go back in, grab me one too. Oh, so good, so good. Awesome. Okay, guys, so that's your look at the Jurassic Park area and the Mardi Gras tribute store. Uh huh. Now, the thing is with Mardi Gras, I think they're going to kick things off early this year. I think like at 11 a.m. is what I was told. Maybe as early as 10 a.m. That's awesome. And I think we're going to try to do a double live stream. Yeah. I don't, it, we're having some funky weather come through. That's true. So we might do a daytime Mardi Gras live stream mm -hmm. and a nighttime. Not sure, just make sure you have the bell notification button click so you know when we go live. <laughs> and as always, guys. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And now, it's time to relax.